Good morning. Welcome to your Saturday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum. Here with some words of wisdom for your day. And I'm being a little quiet because I think most of the rest of the house is still asleep. But today is Saturday and we have a cool card for today because I grabbed the deck, pulled it out, did my usual stuff with it, and I saw this particular card on the bottom of the deck. And I thought, I wonder if that's going to be the card that pops up. Shuffle, 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 as usual. Sure as heck, it's the card we have for today. So, let's start with some nice deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Letting your shoulders drop in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just settling into this moment, resting in this moment. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We'll see if anybody finds me here this morning. I'm thinking maybe not, but we'll see. Nonetheless, this will be posted and you'll have an opportunity to watch it whenever you get around to it. So again, we have Denise Lynn with the Sacred Forest deck, my brand new deck, which I'm excited about. And the card is Frog Spirit Renewal. And if you don't know if you can see, I'm going to come in real close. There's the frog right by the end of her fingertips. So Frog Spirit Renewal. All right, card number 20. Let's see what it has to tell us. Frog Spirit Renewal. Good morning, Judy. You're the first one to find me this morning. My timing is a little off because I am in the UP by you. <laughs> so timing's a little off, but I'm thinking eventually people will figure out where I am. Frog Spirit Renewal. A large golden brown frog. Let me show you the picture again. Here he is. Sits heavy on a lily pad in a still pond as a warm, sleepy dusk dissolves into night. Its deep, sonorous song reverberates. Good morning, good morning. Through the rising chirps of crickets. One of the things I used to love was in the spring when the peepers were out, I would drive past this particular wet area in my neighborhood and run the window down and listen to the peepers. It was just awesome. So there we are, frog spirit. The chorus of the frogs is raucous and joyous, seeming to echo loudly in your soul. A gaggle of tadpoles lurks at the edge of the pond, hidden and safe, waiting with expectant patience until their metamorphosis occurs. And think about this. Yesterday's card was the phoenix and transmutation. Today's card is frog spirit and renewal. Sense in the theme? Here we go. The frog's three stages of development, egg, tadpole, fully formed amphibian, symbolize renewal, resurrection, and transformation. This card speaks of a profound restoration of your life that is occurring. It's never too late to begin again. If your past was less than successful, remember this. What has occurred does not need to mandate what will occur. You can start fresh and new. However, if you do what you have always done, you will get what you have always gotten. In order to reboot your life, you need to do things in a different way. Abounding good luck is activated and awaiting you. Reflect on the varying symbolism of the frog in different cultural traditions and see if any meanings resonate for you at this time. In ancient Egypt, the frog symbolized birth and rebirth. Good morning, Abigail. You found me. Good morning, good morning. In certain Native American traditions, frog medicine is healing by virtue of its transformative life. Ancient Celts believed frogs represented healing because of its connection with water and the way that it transforms from tadpole to adult. Good morning, Tracy. Welcome, welcome. Glad you are here. In China, the frog is a powerful symbol of prosperity, healthy childbirth, and good luck. The spirit of the frog says, be willing to release any preconceived notions of how life should unfold. This is a time to be adaptable. Be willing to change. Abundance and good fortune will follow. So, I'll show you the card again for those who just popped on. Frog spirit. And there's a fairy there. And there's the frog. Hanging out on the lily pad. 
So it's all about, again, yesterday's card, today's card. They're both about transformation. I'm glad you needed to hear this. And thank you for the little frog in the sunshine. Yes, there's a reason you four are on here right now. There's a reason you're hearing this particular card. There's a reason that transformation, renewal, rebirth is your theme for right now. Soak it in. Breathe it in. Let's do that right now. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And every time you breathe in, you're bringing in that renewal energy. And every time you exhale, you are releasing all of that stuckness. This is how it's always been. This is the way it should be. Why isn't it going the way I want it to? All that's out on the breath. Ready? Let it go. Reality is showing you that wasn't the path. Here you are, right here, right now. These are the paths that are opening up to you. Frog spirit paths. Yesterday was Phoenix trans transmutation path. That's your path. And I know you can't see the whole path. That's the point. <laughs> we wouldn't need faith and trust if we could see the whole bloody path, right? So the fact that we can only see a step or two ahead of us is what helps us develop our faith and trust. So, good morning, Diane. Welcome, welcome from the UP. Here we are. So, faith and trust as you step forward, as you move into renewal, as the things that are no longer working fall away. They don't stay a tadpole forever, do they? No, they transform into the full frog, right? So that's what we're doing. We're channeling our frog medicine right now. We are going from tadpole, whatever it was. I don't care how old you are. You could be 80 and you could still be a tadpole, right? Time to move into frog. Time to move into frog. We're moving into this new energy. It's different. It's not what we've done before. That can be scary for people, but it can also be really exciting. And remember, Fritz Perl's brilliant man who said... Anxiety is excitement without the breath. So let's take a breath. <sighs> Have an awesome Saturday. Channel your frog medicine. Let's see what you get. Put some comments in the feed. I'll get back to them eventually. Might be a couple of days because I'm up here for the weekend, but we'll get it figured out. Have an awesome day. See you again tomorrow. Remember you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye, frogs.